bashed at a birthday party in 2006. It's part of the confronting No Second Chance youth safety campaign, shocking teenagers into making smart decisions when it comes to safety. Paul Stanley admits the story makes him physically ill every time he tells it. His son Matthew was set upon in a drunken attack at an 18th birthday party. 24 hours later, he was dead. I didn't really believe it until the next day when I walked into Matthew's bedroom and saw that he wasn't in bed at home. I thought it was all a dream. The No Second Chance initiative aims to get teenagers to think about their actions. Matt Speakman spoke candidly about the crash which killed his girlfriend and left him in a wheelchair. On the morning of the crash, he had signed a contract to race motorcycles professionally. Then the couple was in a head-on collision with a drunk driver with a blood alcohol level of 0.27. From one young guy trying to save 10 bucks on getting a taxi home, you've now got me laying there completely injured, Maria laying there fighting for her life, and this guy looking down the barrel of a jail sentence. It's very upsetting to hear what's happened to them, and I don't want my family to go through that. Just how much it can affect so many people, like one decision. It's really heartbreaking for so many people to go through what they had to go through. You kids take from it what you want to. You, know, you can either ignore it or you can take it and model it for the way it's going to change your life. But when you do get out on the roads and you get your licences, there really is no second chance. Sue Ann McComsty, Win News. Regional politicians have thrown Did their support... Did you and uh, 